Hello. Um, what are you going to do today, John? Today, we're going to learn to program in C so we can develop software for our embedded system. Okay, um, so we're going to learn how to program in C. But before we even start learning a new language like C, what is the hardest part of learning a programming language? Um, to me, the hardest part of learning a language was was that uh, language is uh, you can know the know the vocabulary of a language, but until you actually practice it, it's like nonsense for us, yeah. right? So uh, I think reading a book is good, but if you don't talk the language, you don't learn the language. Um, so the most important thing about pro learning a language is to make mistakes. The more mistakes you make early on, and and then fix them, the faster you'll learn the language. And you observe patterns. The mistake that you did once, you will not repeat it because you observe a pattern there that says, okay, this is a mistake, next time I don't repeat this. Um, and the other most imp uh, other nice thing about uh, to, to develop is to develop a process. Uh, by a process, I mean, um, don't just dive in and start writing code, you devise a solution, uh, then write some pseudocode, which is, which is uh, uh, kind of like a, a plan, a draft of the solution, and then start writing the code incrementally, like we will do today. Mm -hmm. And as you write your code, you, um, you test it, test mm -hmm. as you write, and then when you're done, you will have a working solution. That reminds me, what I like to start with is testing because how I test it uh, is defined or established by what it's supposed to do. So you think about what the software is going to do and then you think about how am I going to test it. And so where do I start? Where do I begin? And so uh, what I like to think about is what exactly does the software supposed to do? And therefore, I think of how it is I'm going to evaluate my software to see that it does what I want, no more, no less. The next thing I think about is, what do I know? What do I believe to be true? What knowledge does it? And so we're going to capture that knowledge in data. And then we're going to define that set of knowledge as a set of data in the software. Uh, we'll have inputs, inputs that which we use to collect the knowledge and convert the input into what we believe, and then obviously uh, we'll have outputs so that we can uh, affect outputs to our world. And okay. so this iterative process, this software then is used to convert the inputs into data, and then software will also convert the data into the outputs. And together this cycle will go on and on. So um, one of the things that new programmers often face is um, is this uh, almost uh, almost a sense of failure because the first program you write may not be uh, easy. It may you may have hurdles, but one of the things we need to do as as learners of a new language is to get some get little victories. Like you know, I you write something, uh, you stay the course, get it done, and then and then you you build your confidence you build your confidence so uh, i remember when i first programmed um, uh, my very first program that i actually remember being successful uh, was uh, was a program i wrote on uh, in pascal i think um, and it was uh, it was to write uh, write the pascal's triangle uh, which which I was so proud of. Uh, it took me a while to get it done, but when I was when it was finally done, I was so proud of it. For days, I I put this program in my pocket, hoping somebody would ask me how it worked, so that I could I could show off. Uh, and so I think that's that's really the kind of um, uh, energy you should you should have when you're thinking of learning a new language. Uh, don't be intimidated, uh, make mistakes, but learn from them, and, and then move on. So what are we gonna do exactly today? What are we gonna so, build? So let's, let's um, introduce the language. So obviously we're not gonna be able to teach you the language in a single module, 
but we will equip you with the tools you will need uh, and to understand what a program looks like and what, what ought to be in a program um, and, uh, and, and then give you the basics of the language. Okay. But what will it do? Ooh. What will it do? What well, should we build? Well, 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 we'll take baby steps. So everybody understands the idea of a square. Right? Okay. So we'll, we'll um, write a program that calculates the area of a square-sized, a square-shaped room. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it.